this is Pavlina from Pavlina's Kids Place. I'm actually not on location this time. I'm going to do a via webcam with Hot Shell Ray. So, um, when you guys are not touring, what do you like to do? What's up? I'm Ryan. I'm Nash. And we are Hot Shell Ray. And uh, we're going to answer some questions for you. So, what do we like to do when we're not on tour? Um, we sleep to catch up from the crazy life we live. Uh, we go out, hang out with friends, um... Our families. I, I mean, think the better question is, when are we not on tour? Yeah, it's, it's kind of like such a catch-up moment for us because when we're not on tour, we're like, hey, look, we have 10 pounds of laundry to do. Great, that'll take eight hours, um, and then we have to sleep. So it's pretty uneventful other than between midnight and 3 a.m., which is usually when we cause most of the trouble. Absolutely true. What is one thing that no one knows about you? What is one thing about us two that nobody knows? I would mm. say this is a very difficult question to answer because we're incredibly transparent on Twitter and Facebook. We don't like to hide too much because we don't want too many people to have, be surprised by all of our mischievous let's answer activities. For, let's answer for each other. Okay. Because we haven't done that yet, so we're even getting more edgy. Um, Ryan has never gone skiing or snowboarding, which we are going to try to remedy this January when we have some time off because that's necessity for anyone. Uh, I would say that none of you know that well, a lot of times we, we have to like, we double up in rooms, so like we share rooms and stuff like that. And Nash, <laughs> I'm not a, I'm the definition of not a morning person. And Nash has a really weird habit of waking up and singing and, and <laughs> various things like that in the morning. So if you put a guy that doesn't want to be talked to in a room with a guy that just wakes up singing like Chris Brown and stuff like that, <laughs> you, you, you bring out a, a monster. You don't like your umbrella <laughs> when you're trying to wake up? Not, not when the monster's trying to wake uh, up. Yeah, I mean, it's still morning and he's hiding under his hood, so he's a little bit scared of the light. You've toured with a lot of cool bands. Um, like, which one was fun to be with and what makes them fun? Um, so we've toured with a lot of cool bands. Uh, we've been touring now pretty steadily for about three years. And um, one of the coolest ones was definitely Third Eye Blind. It was because we grew up on their music. Um, you know, everyone kind of knows their songs. They're almost like anthems at this point. Stephen Jenkins, like, mentored us. Like, yeah. every night he invited us on the bus and he would he would give us a new piece of advice about the music business and it was always just such a really unexpected, crazy, fun experience. You know, you never knew what he was going to say next. Mm -hmm. But, um... Also, We've toured uh, with a lot of other cool bands too. Boys Like Girls, we went to Australia with them for the first time. And, um, it was an amazing country, one of our favorite places ever. Uh, Martin's a great guy. Uh, they're just incredibly talented at you know playing live and just it was a great hang. Um, what inspires our writing, and, and do we have new stuff coming? We always have new stuff coming. Um, we're in our in our days off. One, you know, one of the activities that we didn't mention before is that we actually do work on stuff when we're home. I was working on an idea when I was home for a day, and um, you know, whenever you, whenever inspiration strikes, you just kind of roll with it. But um, you know, you, uh, get what's the most new? What we got our record for the first time, our physical copy um, today, called whatever. Everyone, I'm sure, knows that, but. One for each member. Finally got to hold them. So, so yeah, yeah, this is actually the first day that we've gotten to hold this, and it's pretty, it's pretty sweet. Product Check of musical here. baby making over the past year. Um, but what inspires us is we're pretty much um, being artists. We get inspired <laughs> by whatever we, you know, we get, we get away with saying we're inspired by anything. But um, we, we get inspired by travel. We get inspired by other artists and other, um, you know, other bands doing something that's, that's really, you know, great and, or competition. And uh, it's, it's kind of, we kind of draw from anywhere we can. Have you ever had an embarrassing moment, and how did you deal with it? Have you ever had an embarrassing moment, and how did you deal with it? Ah, uh, I don't know how to every, choose every an embarrassing day. moment. <laughs> um, yeah, um, there's a lot of embarrassing moments. There's a. Uh, I fell on stage once. I that was, that was pretty hard. Though. I also fell on stage, probably not once. Oh, in I'm, Canada. I'm sure I'm forgetting. Oh yeah. Um, so let me set this up. We had <laughs> we were actually filming um, an entire performance in Canada, like audio, video, everything, like a couple cameras, and uh, in rehearsal, 
Nash like started the show by doing this like kick ass jump. <laughs> And then when we went out for like the real deal, he did a kick-ass almost fall. I kicked my own ass, and I probably missed the ground and like got back up by like this much. So I'm sorry that everyone saw that, but you know what? Deal with it. You've all come from musical backgrounds with your parents. What's probably the best advice that your parents have given you? Um, we've all grown up in Nashville, and our parents are all in the music industry, um, between being songwriters and artists and musicians. Um, so it's kind of in our blood, and we've you know been in studios since we were little. It's like you start college when you're two instead of you know eighteen. I think there's two two pieces of advice that really resonate with the both of us. Nash's dad once said, "You're always just a hit a hit away," which is a great great thing to live by. And, and when I was younger, my dad equated um, writing a hit song or writing a good song to, um, you know, a, a professional baseball player's batting average. He said Barry Bonds might hit 70 home runs a year, but he doesn't get up and hit a home run every time. So he said, you know, you'll be lucky if one out of ten songs turn out. And if you take steroids, you can write better songs. Yeah, my head is much bigger now. It's working. You did a song with the Newsboys. Um, was that pretty cool? We, uh, obviously we did a song with the New Boys that's on the new record called I Like It Like That. And um, instead of getting with some rappers or like having a feature that was picked out by the label and they're like, hey, you know, we got this person jumping on your song. Um, we actually knew them and were friends with them from early in the year. We played some shows with them and hung out a bunch. And uh, they were just some of the coolest guys, really chill, incredibly talented. And um, when we got to, you know, pick a feature, we just jumped at the chance to have them on it. What are some of your upcoming plans and events? Upcoming plans. Um, let's see. We've got a lot of TV shows coming up. We're going um, to play a lot of Christmas shows. We're doing Jingle Ball. We're doing, um, you know, a bunch of shows all over the country. And then early next year, we're going to embark on a headlining tour. And uh, First headlining tour. First headlining tour. And shortly thereafter, we are going to Australia with Taylor Swift in March. And uh, we're very excited about all that stuff. We're excited to get back to... Uh, down, the land down under and, uh, and, and see a lot of people that we met over there and, and obviously come back in such a big way. But um, we're, we're going to be playing a lot of shows next year.